Talk about a gut punch, man, if you're trying to invest in housing, dude. Uh, this uh, article I just read came out today. That's a freaking gut punch, bro. Uh, mortgage rates, right? 15-year high, folks. 6.7% is the average interest rate of a 30-year fixed mortgage. But don't worry. Don't hit the panic button. Don't freak out. Just because we have a 15-year high does not mean we cannot still make money investing in real estate. In some cases, uh, these interest rates actually help us make money. So what we're going to do today, folks, is go over the three ways that we could make money investing in real estate, the three strategies we could utilize that are going to neutralize the negative impacts of these 15-year high mortgage rates. Let's go. Welcome to the show, y'all. I am your boy, Jay Wise, and I am here to help y'all make money investing in real estate, right? And that, <clears throat> it feels like it's a little difficult, a little dangerous right now, right? Markets are slowing down. Uh, people are getting scared, right? Six months ago, we had a lot of money flowing, changing hands this or that. We had dumb money in the business, right? But now, uh, you know, things are changing. The Fed... Jerome Paul, the sex god that he is, he's out there trying to hit the brakes on that runaway housing market, trying to hit the brakes on inflation, and they're really changing things, and because of all the things that they're doing, your lenders are reacting, and we are getting astronomically high mortgage rates lately, folks. Right now, we're at 15-year highs, okay? The average 30-year fixed-rate mortgage, which is the beautiful mortgage, the best mortgage you can get, right? That is the most popular mortgage, 6.7. Six months ago, that thing was like freaking three. Now, 6.7% on that 30-year mortgage. For housing investors, not owner occupied people, the people I deal with the most in my business because that's what we do. We're an investment firm here, right? Uh, you guys are used to putting down 25% and getting these 30-year fixed interest loans. For my first-time home buyers out there, people that are trying to just buy a house and live in said house, you guys get even better terms. You guys get things like 1% down, 3.5% down, 3% down, 5% down, 10% down, things of that nature. Now, we're going to go over three ways that we can avoid the pain that these new high interest rates are going to hit to you, right? Now, I will be honest. I will be totally upfront. If you're an investor, okay, investors, uh, we're probably going to have a better shot making money in the downturning market here, okay? It's probably still going to be a little better for us uh, than the first time home buyers out there, right? First time home buyers, affordability is pretty low and you have to finance so much more. And, you know, it's. It's not like the super ideal time for you guys, so I will say that uh, investors uh, who have some extra reserves, or even those who don't, though, I'll show you guys some strategies on how you could make some more money. Uh, but I guess what I'm trying to say is we're going to be looking for the positives, and for investors, there actually are some really good positives. For my first-time home buyers, people that watch the show that are uh, looking to buy their first home, uh, you know. It's not as sunny for you guys right now. I mean, we just got to call a spade a spade. That's where we're at, right? But the first thing that we can do uh, to make some money, still curve the pain of these high interest rates, and this will work for both homeowners, first-time home buyers, those kind of people, and our investors, is go with a 15-year mortgage, right? Now, 6 7 Today, all right, a Forbes article came out today. That's the average rate in America today, 6-7 for the 30-year fixed. But if you have the ability, if you could afford the payments on a 15-year fix, you're going to save some money because the average today is almost an entire percent point lower. The average today is 5.96%, right? So instead of getting a 6.7% mortgage, you can make more money, save some money, by getting a 15-year fixed mortgage and only having to pay 5.96, right? Which leads me to number two. Now, this, this particular real estate strategy, over the last decade, was seen as the most asinine thing you could do. Was completely unheard of. Basically, nobody was talking about doing this. But now, you see that there's actually value in that particular product. And that is the adjustable rate mortgage, right? Today, 
As our 30-year fixed interest rates average 6.7, do you know what the adjustable rate mortgage is? 5.3. Talk about some serious savings. Now, over the last decade, you would have been batshit crazy to try to get an adjustable rate mortgage, dude. You were able to lock in 30-year mortgages at like 3%. So anybody who would try to do an adjustable rate mortgage would be insane over the last 10 years because there's only one direction we could go, and that was up, right? So when they're historically low like that, guys, you would have done everything you could possibly do to lock in those super low rates, right? Now that we are at 15-year highs, 15 year highs, you can make money on the adjustable rate mortgage two ways. Way number one, today, already way lower, 5.3 versus 6.7. Huge savings, right? Unlike over the last decade when there was really only one direction to go, which was up, now if we're at 15-year highs, folks, there's two directions, up or down, but if we're at 15-year highs, you know, I'm feeling good about down, right? Additionally, you know who else is feeling good about down? Fannie Mae. Fannie Mae is feeling good about us going down, right? The last two Fannie Mae housing forecasts have had interest rates trending down, right? As we round out 2020 or 2022 rather and get into 2023, the last two Fannie Mae housing forecasts, I'll link them to below, okay? They have had mortgage rates trending down. So you save money. Right off the rip, lower interest rate, number one. Number two, you're going to save even more money if they trend down, right? And then the last thing, and I told you a little earlier, I was like, yeah, you know, it's not as rosy for our first-time home buyers as it is for investors, right? Uh, and that's really going to be most applicable here, right? And that is cash purchases. Now, I know first-time home buyers and stuff, you guys are, like, not buying houses via cash, right? So uh, this isn't going to be applicable to you. But investors out there, and that's the majority of people we deal with here on Holton Wise TV, right? We're investors. Cash purchases. Get ready to make a freaking trailer, wheelbarrow full of money, folks. Myself, the last crash, the big crash, the 08 crash, the crash of all crashes. That's when I got into the game. Do you know what that crash did for me? It took me from a Radio Shack store manager at friggin' 21 years old to a friggin' multimillionaire, right? I made millions of dollars because of that crash. And you could do the same. Now, this is what's so great about this, like, upcoming, we'll call it a downturn. I don't know if I'm ready to call it a crash. We're going to call it a downturn. I don't foresee it being like 08, dude. 08 was wild. But we're in a very unique position right now, right? Why? Because rates way up. We've, if, you, if you haven't figured that out, I don't know what you've been watching the last like 10 minutes of this video, right? That's what we're talking about. Rates are way up. Because why? Because inflation's way up, right? Meaning affordability super low. I already said this last stretch is not really too good for uh, those first-time homebuyers. They don't have the ability to just come in cash, right? Uh, so what they're dealing with is uh, this unique situation in the market, which I've never seen in my career, uh, and I've been in the game since 08, right? Uh, well, 09, late 08, 09. I don't remember exactly the date I bought my first house, uh, but it was definitely because of the crash, right? A little $85,500 house, which I'm actually going to be selling here shortly. I've owned that thing for uh, 14 years now. I'm actually now selling it because I'm building a new pool at uh, my new house that I'm building. So, like, I'm going to just sell that house and turn it into a pool. I can't swim in that house, but I'm going to swim into it uh, once I turn it into a pool. But anyway, the moral of the story, folks, uh, 08, 09 is when I bought that house. That's when I got into the game. What is different now as back then? when I got into the game, like the downturn in the market right now, it's this crazy unique situation where everything is expensive. Money is expensive. Cost of housing is expensive. But now the ability to get finance for the housing has gone down and it's pushing rents to like an unseen amount. And then now we have the ability to go in as people are having to come down a little bit on their pricing and the first time home buyers are getting pushed back out of the market and they're forced to rent. That's A, increasing the rent prices, but it's also for us cash investors, allowing us the very unique opportunity to jump into these properties lower. So usually when house prices go up, 
rent prices go up. But right now we have this crazy swing where house prices are going down. And if we have the ability to pay cash, get them even lower. But at the same time, because inflation is still running away, rents are going like this. So we have like this crazy X where your pricing is going down and your rents are going up. That is a perfect storm for people like me, people like you that have a little bit of cash to go in and make millions. Now, here's the best part. A lot of you might be like, well, great, bro. Fuck off. I don't have 500 grand. I don't have a million dollars. I don't have $2 million in the bank. What am I supposed to do, bro? I can't take advantage of that little X thing you're making with your hands. But you can, folks. That first house I bought, selling that thing for like 165 right now, okay? Bought it for 85 back in the day. 85 grand, folks. You might be like, okay, great. I can't buy houses for 85 grand where I live, James. Why am I watching your show? You can still buy $85,000 houses no matter where you live, folks. Why? Because that's what my team helps investors like you do. We've sold over $200 million worth of real estate investments to people just like you. We offer the full set of turnkey services. We help you acquire these properties. I give you an analysis on these properties. My team jumps in, does all the property management, all the construction, all the boots on the ground stuff. So you don't have to do anything. We handle it all, right? So... If you are in an area where you can afford to go pick up some homes cash where the prices are low right now, rents are extremely high, do that. Make a ton of money off of cash flow here in the short term, maybe in the next five to seven years, and then get ready to sell it for a big profit after that. Huge IRR, right? Huge IRR potential here, right? But if you don't have the ability to do that in your home market, because maybe you only have 100 grand, 200 grand, right? You can't do it where you live because houses are like seven, 800 grand. Book a free call with my team. The notes are below. We could help you get into properties for 85 grand, 95 grand, 100 grand, sometimes 75 grand, right? I'm talking properties that are going to run about $100,000, bringing in about $1,600 in rent right now. Think about that. Pick a couple of those up while the pricing is going down and rents are going up. And then when all this stuff evens out, fixes itself, resets in a few years, five years, seven years, can't tell you exactly, of course, but odds are good it's going to reset, go back up, boom, we'll sell them for you. That, folks, is the three ways we could make money despite these rates hitting 15-year highs. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.